Hey everyone, how are you? This is Rachel from My Denture Adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can get these videos out to as many people as possible so that they know what to expect as they go into their denture journey. So today, um, I probably moving after tomorrow will do more like weekly updates. I'm not going to give you every every day from now until like the next 40 days. Um, you know, if there are certain questions that you guys have, put those in the comments below and I will um and I will go ahead and answer those. But today is day 6. I called the dentist today. Today is the first day they were open and told them my bottoms won't go in at all. They're way too big. The tops need some work. And they said, listen, our policy is what we like to do. Sorry, my kids are screaming in the background in real life. What they like to do is wait until at least two weeks after your extractions to go in and start like shaving things down, doing relines if necessary. They like your gums to really have a chance to heal and your swelling to go down. So she said like, listen, unless you were in dying pain or you were unable to eat at all, we really try to recommend doing it that way. So that was what the dentist said. So it wasn't, you know, the best news per se because I do go back to work on Sunday. <laughs> but... Um, you know, I'll go with my tops and still be a little swollen and it will be okay. Um, I did get some work done today. Uh, I work from home for about two hours on my computer. So that was huge. I had to, um, complete a bunch of scheduling. I had a schedule for about 80 people for the whole month of December. Um, for the church that I work for. So uh, just to have the mental clarity and to be able to do that, I felt like was a huge home run. Um, but yeah, my stitches have started to fall out on the bottom. They're dissolvable, so that's normal. Most of them are out on the bottom. Um, today I was able to do mashed potatoes and soup. Uh, and I'm going to start work on my S's for sure. Uh it's just weird. It's so weird. Like, I haven't even really talked to anyone, like, on the phone in a week. Because, I don't know, I just feel like my talking is so hindered and weird. But I did talk to my mom today on the phone instead of texting her. And she didn't think I sounded that bad. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, that's kind of today. Not a ton to report. I was able to do some new foods. I was able to, like, not be in pain enough to do some work. Um, I did take them out to clean them really well because I do have that one like sore and like, um, blood bliss are like right here. And honestly, I, I'm not shocked because I had like a, a tooth with a post in it and it was right about that spot where they had to, you know, unscrew the post from the bone and do a little bit more work there. So that could be why that is there. Um, but yeah, I mean, for all in all, each day it's getting a little bit easier. Um, you know, I am still at times like, oh, when it, like, I just honestly, there's foods that I'm craving so bad right now. Like, I just want like a Jersey Mike sub so bad. I just want like tortilla chips and buffalo chicken dip like so bad all the stuff that I can't eat and I can't have and I probably won't be able to have for a while so of course everything I want <laughs> I can't have but that's okay but yeah it's it's and honestly the the lady at the dentist's office was very um sorry my glasses are glaring in the CV was very helpful and she reminded me um of something she said you know you have to realize when you have this done that this is a marathon and it's not a sprint and so many people think that they're just everything's gonna fit exactly perfectly the first time that they get the dentures put in that they're not gonna have any swelling that they're not gonna have any pain that they're gonna be able to eat right away 
And she said, the honest to goodness truth is everyone's different. And you have to look at it um, as a marathon. And you can't look at it as like you want to be on the speedy fast track because if you do, that's when you get really discouraged, down, and mentally get down. Like, why did I do this? I, I want to change my mind. I want to turn back time. Um, and so her advice was really, really good. But that's my day six update. I'll give you probably one tomorrow. And then I might start doing every every couple days doing updates on how I'm feeling. I do have some topical stuff that I want to do. Like if you're a mom doing this surgery where you're getting your teeth extracted and getting immediate dentures, like the things that I did as a mom that some things I did really well to set myself up and some things if I could go back, I'd do them a little bit differently um, based on my recovery process and how it was for me. But I still feel like there's some good tips. So I'll do a video on that. The other thing is tips, like questions I wish I would have asked um, pre-extraction. You know, they rushed me back there. They said, do you have any questions? I said, no. Then I'm sitting there in pain with gauze in my mouth and I can't talk. And then questions started to flood my head. And like I said, because of when I had it done right before Thanksgiving, I had no way other than... YouTube, thank goodness, to get some of those answered. So um, I will do some content, like topical videos like that. But if there's questions that you have or videos you think would be helpful as I move along in this process, just let me know. Um, but like I said, probably tomorrow will be the last like everyday daily videos. Um, I wanted to kind of do the first week for you guys and then I think it's going to kind of get boring because like I said, until my appointment on the 7th, not a ton's probably going to change. So, um, but I appreciate you guys, your wonderful community that's been encouraging me and I appreciate it so much and I will see you tomorrow.